White flowered shrubs are excellent for illuminating shaded regions of the garden, and many of them also have fragrant flowers. White flowered shrubs are a symbol of innocence and purity in landscape design, as so they provide the backbone of many moon gardens. Some white flowering shrubs are prized for the splash of springtime color they bring to the garden, while others hold back some of their splendor until the autumn months. If you want white bushes for your garden, here are six excellent options to consider. Number one, Korean Spice Veiburnum. The Korean Spice Veiburnum, or Veiburnum carlisi, is a type of shrub that has both early spring flowers and fall foliage. Pink buds give way to clusters of pure white blooms as they open. The sweet and sour scent of the bush's flowers inspired the name. The double file variety's pure white blossoms don't have the distinctively Korean spice aroma. A yearly feeding with an acid-enhanced fertilizer will promote flowering in viburnums if your soil lacks the acidity they prefer. Hardy from Zone 4 to Zone 7. Number 2. Mock Orange Mock Orange could be the perfect plant for you if you prefer to smell different perfumes in the yard but can't stand overpowering odors. Numerous Philadelphia species and their offspring, including hybrids and cultivated varieties, make up the mock orange family. It doesn't have a particularly strong scent, but those with trained noses may pick up on citrus in the flowers. Orange bushes need periodic rejuvenation pruning, in which the entire plant is severely trimmed back to within a few feet of the ground. Hardy from Zone 4 to 8. Number 3. Dwarf Tutsia. Dwarf Tutsia, also known as Dutsia gracilis nico, stands out from the crowd since it is a shrub that doubles as a ground cover. Its low stature and wider than high profile are the reasons behind this. Despite their diminutive size, these blossoms are abundant and double. This flower blooms in late spring and has tiny bell-shaped blossoms that have a pleasant scent. Foliage of the dwarf type develops a lovely crimson hue in the fall, resistant to cold in zones five through eight. Number four, Spirea. Early summer is peak flowering time for shrubs of the genus Spirea, which are related to roses. While pink spirias are becoming increasingly common, the white-flowered Van Hout remains the classic variety. Van Hout spirea can reach heights of 5 to 8 feet and widths of 7 to 10 feet in full sun. Both the snow mound and the snowstorm are white-flowering varieties. While mature spirias have a moderate tolerance for drought, young spirias require regular watering to reach their full potential. Plants hardy from U.S. Day Zones 3 to 8. Number 5. Snows of Kilimanjaro. Snows of Kilimanjaro is a rounded tropical shrub that blooms white and grows 6 to 10 feet tall and wide. In the same way that poinsettias bloom when the days get shorter, so do many other types of flowering plants. The bush looks like a huge snowball after the fragrant white flowers open. Give the plant a sharp haircut in the spring and another in the summer to achieve that shape. Some people are allergic to the milky sap, so it's best to wear gloves when pruning. Plants that thrive in zones 10 to 13. Number six, Japanese Andromeda. The Andromeda plant, often called Japanese Pyrrhus, has an overwhelming fragrance. Some individuals are put off by the scent, while others can't get enough of it. Find a shrub in bloom first to check whether you like the way it smells before deciding to plant it. Andromeda's advantages extend beyond its showy bell-shaped blooms, thanks to its evergreen foliage, appealing crimson leaves, and early bloom time. Andromeda shrubs can attain a height of 9 to 12 feet hardy from Zone 5 to Zone 8. 
Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.